In the last lecture, we completed voltage divider biasing and the next biasing scheme is common gate configuration. So in this presentation, we will find out the operating point, the operating point of common gate configuration of JFET. We are calling this configuration common gate configuration because gate is common, gate is common to the input side and also to the output side. The input signal is applied to the source terminal. The input signal VI is applied to the source terminal and the output signal is taken at the drain terminal. The output signal is taken or obtained at the drain terminal and you can clearly see gate is common to the input side and also to the output side. Gate is connected to the ground and there are two DC supplies. The first one is VDD and the second one is VSS. VDD is positive and VSS is negative. This means this terminal here is at the higher potential as compared to the ground and this terminal here is at the lower potential as compared to the ground. So this is the complete circuit. C1 and C2 are the coupling capacitors and as we are performing the DC analysis, we have to perform the DC analysis to find out the operating point and for DC signals C1 and C2 will offer infinite reactance. So we can open circuit C1 and C2 and the simplified circuit will look like this and now we can easily find out the operating point. The operating point we will get once we have the intersection between the load line and the transfer curve. Transfer curve, transfer curve of JFET we already know how to plot and to plot the load line we have to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. So these are the two things we will do. I will first plot the transfer curve because we know how to plot the transfer curve. The x-axis, the x-axis is the axis of input voltage VGS in volt. The y-axis is the axis of output current that is the drain current in milliamp. The maximum drain current, the maximum drain current of JFET IDSS and the pinch of voltage VP is known to us we know these two quantities and when VGS VGS is equal to 0 volt drain current ID is equal to IDSS let's say this is IDSS and when ID is equal to 0 amp VGS is equal to VP let's say this is VP the third point we will get when we put VGS equal to Vp by 2 in Shockley's equation this will give us drain current Id equal to Idss over 4. So Vp by 2 and Idss by 4 are the two coordinates and we can easily locate them because we know Idss and we know Vp. Let's say this is Vp over 2 and this is Idss over 4. So this will be the third point. In this way we have three points and now I will join these three points to get the transfer curve of JFET. So we are done with transfer curve and now we will plot the load line and to plot the load line we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop. So we have we have 0 volt 0 volt then we have plus minus VGS so we will have minus VGS minus VGS then we have voltage drop across resistance RS the current through resistance RS is IS which is equal to the drain current so the drop is equal to IDRS and we will subtract the drop so IDRS and then we have equal to minus VSS. We started from 0 volt and we end at minus VSS. Rearranging you will get VGS equal to VSS minus IDRS. This is what we have and this is the equation of a straight line. 
the line is the load line and I will try to write this equation in the form y equal to mx plus c. We need two points to plot the straight line and the first point we will get if we can find out the intercept c. I will write down this equation in the form of y equal to mx plus c and the equation will be drain current id equal to minus 1 over rs multiplied with vgs plus vss over rs and if you compare this equation with y equal to mx plus c you will find vss over rs is the intercept c intercept is positive this means the straight line will cut y axis above the x axis the intercept is positive and it is equal to vss over rs and let's say this point here is vss over rs and if you check it dimensionally you will find vss over rs is having the dimensions of current so the drain current id is equal to vss over rs for the load line when vgs is equal to zero volt so this is the first point we need another point to plot the load line and for this i will make i will make drain current id equal to zero amp when drain current id is equal to zero amp we will have minus vgs plus vss this means vgs is equal to vss so when the drain current the drain current id is equal to zero amp vgs is equal to vss vss we know already it is fixed it is given along with the circuit so we can easily plot vss and let's say vss is here vss so we have two points and if i join these two points I will have the load line this line here is the load line and this curve here is the transfer curve and the point of intersection is the operating point this point here is the operating point we can easily find out the y coordinate of the operating point i d q and the x coordinate of the operating point v g s q so this is what you have to do in case of common gate configuration now the remaining thing is the output voltage vds to find out vds we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop we will start from vdd and we will end at minus vss so let's see what we have after applying kvl vdd minus id rd current through resistance rd is id then we have minus vds minus vds then we have minus isrs or we can write idrs equal to minus vss and after you rearrange the equation you will have vds equal to vdd plus vss minus id rd plus rs in this equation we know vdd we know vss we know rd we know rs and id is idq which you can get from this graph so this is all for this lecture we followed the graphical approach the mathematical approach is not as easy as compared to the graphical approach so whenever you have the common gate configuration or any other configurations for jfet other than other than fixed bias configuration try to follow the graphical approach it is much easier so if you have any doubt regarding this lecture you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one